After the divine childhood of the Vedic period, after the heroic youth of the Upanishadic seers who rediscovered the Vedic experience, after the bright and strong early manhood of the age of reason, the center of consciousness of the Indian civilization shifted further down to the heart. The power of rational intelligence, having matured through the previous centuries, stepped back and gave full play to the emotions and aesthetic sense. This shift found its matured and refined expressions during the Gupta Empire, bringing forth the golden age of the Indian civilization. It was one of the most opulent and creative periods in Indian history. As part of the ongoing development of reason, the Gupta period saw the birth and growth of Nalanda. the world's first residential university. During its peak, Nalanda housed 2,000 teachers and 10,000 students. They flocked to Nalanda from all over India and the neighboring Asian countries. However, admission to Nalanda was tough and only the intellectual elite could get through. The wider population, outside the universities and monasteries, were awaiting their spiritual education. As the center of consciousness had already shifted to the heart, the emotional and aesthetic needs of the civilization needed to come into focus. The already well-developed rational intelligence provided a firm foundation for all forms of arts, music and literature to flourish. The representative poet of the era was Kalidasa, a Sanskrit dramatist and poet. His Sanskrit play Shakuntala can be considered as the most perfect and captivating romantic drama in all literature. It was time for the collective emotions of the Indian civilization to be refined and turned towards divine realization. This was accomplished through a new form of religious poetry known as Puranas and temple worship. The name Purana means from ancient times. During the development of the age of reason, the Gita had already brought forth the powerful role of love and devotion in spiritual realization. While Vyasa is said to be the initiator of the Puranas, it is during the Gupta period that Puranic poetry came to the forefront and developed. The seed of devotion sprouted and flourished in the form of 18 major Puranas over the coming centuries. They used the emotional being as the means of spiritual transformation 
and spiritualized the emotional level in humankind. Storytelling based on the Puranas, Ramayana and Mahabharata became the perfect means for the spiritual education of the wider population of all classes. This period saw a powerful revival of the Vedic culture. The Puranas retained the essential truths of the Vedas but created new forms of expression. The Vedic pantheon of nature gods was replaced by the trinity of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and their female consorts. The Vedic house of fire and sacrifice was replaced by temples and deity worship. This period saw the birth and growth of beautiful and ornate temple architecture in India. They appealed to the emotions of the heart and aesthetic delight expressed through sacred sculptures and designs. The deity worship, rituals and ceremonies infused the spiritual ideals into the mass consciousness. The presence of the divine seated in the heart of humanity became a popular understanding. Devotion became a popular method for spiritual realization. It is during this period the story of the ten avatars of Vishnu came into prominence. The sequence of avatars provided an easy framework for the masses to comprehend the notion of spiritual evolution and the manifestation of the divine in humanity. Buddha was also integrated into the list of avatars. The ancient Vedic and Upanishadic cosmology found a new expression in the form of the seven worlds of Puranic cosmology. This set the foundation for the emergence and growth of Bhakti movement in India, orienting the whole civilization and its emotions towards spiritual realization. This evolutionary movement continued to flourish through many saints across India over the next millennia. The perfect outcome of this evolution can be found in the philosophy and religion of divine love promulgated by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu.